Whether you like it or not, technology is advancing quickly, bringing us new discoveries and groundbreaking ideas every year. Some of the brightest minds working today are developing the next piece of technology that will fundamentally alter how we live. Although it sometimes seems that science is advancing steadily, over the past 50 years, technology had advanced significantly. Welcome back to another episode of High Technology. Join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. In this video, let's look at the top 15 new technologies that will alter the way we live, care for our bodies, and assist us in preventing a global catastrophe. Number 1. Cryopreservation with the belief that resurrection would one day be possible, human remains are low temperature frozen and stored in a process known as cryonics. Is it possible to avoid death by using cryopreservation? Some professionals might agree, however the mainstream scientific community holds it in low regard. In the 1960s and 1970s, early attempts at cryonic preservation were made, but they failed. However, that was then. On a smaller scale, freezing is a very helpful technique in medicine for preserving living cells at extremely low temperatures such as blood cells, bone marrow, and embryos. However, scientists concur that the idea of maintaining and reawakening the entire human body is remote and would require enormous technological advances. Cryonic specialists take care of the body and begin the freezing procedure. Dry ice is utilized at this point to maintain the body's low temperature. Cryoprotectants such as antifreeze are pumped into patients to stop the production of ice crystals, which would harm cells. They are preserved in liquid nitrogen before the temperature is gradually decreased. There is no proof or assurance that the people who had been saved will ever be rewarmed and revived, although that is the ultimate goal. Number 2. Banana Fingers This could pass for a bunch of ripe bananas, and you wouldn't be wrong. That is exactly how this thing appears at first glance, but in reality, it's actually a brand new supportive glove with what its creators refer to as banana fingers. They are inflatable, and when inflated, they enable the glove to hold items like a tennis ball or a Coke can. A person can use the team's glove to complement finger movement, reducing the amount of muscle activity required to carry out activities and motions. For those who have suffered injuries, restricted mobility, or other trauma to the fingers, this may offer a lot of promise. So scientists created a self-operating knitting machine that can knit flexible objects like banana fingers, similar to your grandmother's knitting with plastic needles. It uses a machine knitting method, but this one is self-contained. To program how it will move, a human designer need to specify the stitch and sensor design patterns. The materials used to make banana fingers are clever and compliant, have developed into the foundation of several assistive technologies and robots. Additionally, the conductive yarn enables sensing, allowing the banana hand to feel the objects it is touching. Number 3. Water Bikes if walking on water seems to be an impossibility, let's hope biking wouldn't, because the first water bike in the world uses foiling technology to simulate cycling while providing the bizarre impression of flight. Now we may cruise lakesides with friends and family, bike along seaside shorelines, and train near waterways. While in use, it resembles and feels a lot like riding a bicycle. However, as it lacks wheels, it isn't really a bicycle. On the 70% of the earth where there are no trails, rivers, lakes, or oceans, it can also be used. The body of the foil is constructed of aircraft grade aluminum, while the interior buoyancy modules are built of vacuum sealed ASA plastics. The foils are composed of stronger carbon fiber that has been set with a high performance epoxy. Seven battery assist speeds or modes, or at least seven just for turning, are available in the present model. The cranks deliver over 450 watts of assistance and fully activate the motor, enough for the bike to start up and foil. You can also launch the hydrofoil independently. The simplest of these is a platform launch from a pontoon, floating dock, or a boat's bag swim platform. The Manta 5 Hydrofoiler XE1 was developed by a New Zealand-based company and is the first model that is suitable for consumers. Join the tens of thousands of fans who are establishing cycling's new frontier worldwide. Number 4. Seaweed Clothes The term fast fashion is used to challenge a highly lucrative business model that is built on copying and imitating high-end fashion and is purposely created with a short lifespan. It also worsens the consequences of climate change and causes long-term, possibly irreparable environmental damage. Saving Grace Seaweed A biotech startup is now making tough seaweed jars. In addition to developing a sustainable and ethical fiber that can be used to make textiles for the fashion industry, the company seeks to protect marine ecology. 
the business promotes circular production cycles as well. Materials that are no longer required provide food for bacteria on land and in the sea. As a result, seaweed is the perfect substance for making ecological textiles. The research group harvests an ingredient called alginate from seaweed or algae to make the yarn. For further processing, the alginate is mixed with other renewable biopolymers. The biodegradable fiber may be knitted into a textile because it is sturdy and plastic. It is also appropriate for 3D printing procedures. The yarn's color is also derived from natural pigments. A relatively small carbon footprint is also left by the entire production process. Number 5 Underwater data. In a crazy experiment, Microsoft submerged a data center off the coast of Scotland's northeast. Now that the data center has been recovered from the ocean below, researchers are evaluating how it worked and what lessons about energy efficiency can be drawn from it. Its underlying premise is that fewer failures result from fewer humans, and this is true. Their initial finding is that the server filled cylinder experienced fewer failures than a typical data center. Only 8 of the 855 servers on board had crashed when the container was lifted from the seabed around half a mile offshore after being positioned there in 2018. The team hypothesizes that the increased reliability may be related to the absence of humans and the use of nitrogen instead of oxygen in the capsule. Although it may seem like a crazy idea, the project's creators believe it has a lot of promise and groups preparing for a natural disaster or terrorist strike may find it appealing. The white cylinder emerged from the chilly waters with a layer of algae, barnacles, and sea anemones after a day of operation. According to the under water data. However, the data center was running smoothly on the inside. Number 6. Human Hibernation Pods Humans would take months to travel to other planets. As a result, hibernation has been suggested as a useful strategy for making lengthy journeys seems to pass quickly. To Mars, it's a long way. It is still 35 million miles distant from Earth at its nearest point. So regardless of how quickly you go, it will still take at least 5 months. However, there might be a method to make the trip less strenuous. Hibernation. It seems to be applicable outside of science fiction. The idea would be to use individual pods and an as yet undiscovered medication to put people in to a state of hibernation. While the humans were sleeping, a number of systems including artificial intelligence would keep the spaceship running. The hibernation pods themselves would contribute to the protection of the humans. They might be protected against radiation from deep space. One of the major dangers that travelers will encounter is during the 180-day mission to Mars, including any excursions that involve using smaller spacecraft and human hibernation pods. Number 7 gate recognition. Facial recognition has become widely used and is a relatively secure method of securing mobile devices for example. Human recognition technologies however could make it very difficult to move through the world without being constantly watched. However, what occurs when clothing covers or obscures faces? To solve the issue, experts developed a gate recognition software. Contrary to facial recognition which necessitates close-up, high-resolution photos, gate identification can identify human subjects from over 165 feet away without the person ever directly facing a camera. It does this by analyzing the body shape and gait of the subject. The technology is supposed to be very powerful even with Baxter. It seems to be more difficult for individuals who believe they can try to walk in a different way to avoid being recognized. Simply limping or hunching over won't trick gait analysis because this technology examines every element of the body as a whole. However, it won't be long before full real-time gait analysis is feasible when hardware and optimizations are implemented. Number 8. Luxury Space Balloons Space tourism is a new frontier compared to tourism on our planet. In reality, it has already begun. Space tourism was long considered to be more of a science fiction concept than a reality. But with the development of space travel, which is being funded by billionaire businessmen, this industry has the potential to become one of the greatest endeavors of our time. Add a space balloon company to the mix so that people may see the Earth from 20 miles in the air. A business with a US base presented its enormous balloon, Venture. Additionally, more than 600 seats at a cost of $100. $25,000 each have already been sold. It is debatable nevertheless whether it genuinely qualifies as spaceflight. There won't be an orbit for the balloon. Instead, it will ascend to a 20-mile altitude. The globally recognized space border is 62 miles above sea level, but 20 miles is still significantly higher than commercial aircraft. And we would be doing it in luxury. The lounge area inside the balloon's capsule features a cocktail bar, Wi-Fi, and quiet ambient lighting. The journey lasts for two hours and consists of an ocean splashdown after two hours of 
of ascending, gliding, and descent. Additionally, the business markets itself as a cleaner, zero emission substitute for rocket fuels. Let's give it a pause for now. What kind of technology has caught your attention so far? If these have blown your mind, brace yourself for part 2 as we dive into the remaining technologies that will alter the course of our lives in the next video. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best in cutting-edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. Until then, see you!